Okay, so from closing headquarters to wearing big green suits, what's this all about? <laughs> this is all about personal protective uh, equipment. Okay. Uh, for, um, for example, when there's an Ebola outbreak, mm -hmm. this will be the new PPE uh, for the future outbreaks. The PPE that is used uh, right now has several disadvantages. Oh, we saw it there briefly in the, uh, in the video. This is what was used during the previous Ebola outbreak a couple of years ago. Exactly, so this suit has uh, uh, several disadvantages. Such as? Uh, in fact, it is, so it's impermeable to avoid that any infectious fluids will enter the suit. But it also means that nothing can go out of the suit. So it's getting extremely hot inside, especially if you work in countries uh, like in Africa. So it is very hot. So for the people using it, wearing it, uh, it is very exhausting. And you can stay maximum one hour inside. It means that you have to do several shifts uh, per day. So how is this suit different then? Because it looks pretty impermeable as well to the naked eye. I don't see the difference between the existing ones. Yeah, so I, I will come to that. But okay. I, so first, with the, the, the disadvantages, so it is uh, very hot inside. Yep. Um, you, when, you, when you have to dress and undress, you have several layers uh, to put. Mm -hmm. And you have to do it uh, very concentrated. Because if you leave one part of the skin open, it's dangerous. You can infect yourself. Okay. And when you undress, uh, you are exhausted because you have been in the, in the hot suit for a long time. And then you have to take layer by layer off. Uh, and this is also can be a potential dangerous moment. Okay. If you don't do it correctly, mm -hmm. you can also infect yourself. So that's the second disadvantage. Then the, the third disadvantage is the, the vision for the, for the patient. So, yeah. so, so the vision is quite limited. So the patient cannot see who is inside. So I noticed that many doctors and medics in the field wrote their names actually on the top of there. But this is not necessary now because you can see the person. Exactly. So uh, during the last uh, epidemic, uh, the West African epidemic, um, so a partnership was created between MSF uh, the, the Lausanne Polytechnic University and the University uh, of Geneva, among which the, the University Hospital of Geneva and indes industrial partners to, uh, to tackle all these disadvantages of the, the actual PPE. And um, so this is then the Ta -da! smart uh, PPE. W why is it smart? Has it got electronics it, inside it? No, it uh, doesn't have electronics inside, but it's, uh, it's, it's because it's, it's nicer to use for the, the, the caretaker, uh, the caregiver and for uh, the patient. And it has tackled, in fact, all the, the disadvantages of the former suit. So if, as you can see, it is uh, in one piece. Mm -hmm. The vision is uh, much better for the, the person wearing it and also for the patient. You can see uh, the face. Mm -hmm. And uh, also a disadvantage of the former one was that you have to, uh, it was, um, you have to throw it away, mm -hmm. a part of the PPE. And this one is completely reusable. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, it is in one piece. So if you take it on, uh, it's, it's very quickly, yep. very safe. And if you take it off, you take it off like this. And it's also much safer mm. uh, to take it off. How do you avoid the cooked chicken syndrome? <laughs> the cooked chicken syndrome, there will be uh, a ventilation system. So there are some electronics inside it? Yes, if, yes. <laughs> so it is a smart PPE. So there's a ventilation system. So the, the, the person using it um, will not feel hot. And um, can stay much longer inside. So it means more comfort, less exhaustion and um, um, longer work shifts. And for the patient, he can see uh, the person. So the ventilation, uh, there will be two phases in this project. The first one is that the ventilation um, will be inside the suit, but not yet integrated. So the, the ventilation will work through all of the body and here in the, in the face. Uh, and the second phase, then it will be integrated uh, in the suit. Okay, and so where are you? Have you tried this in the field yet? Have you put this on in the hot African heat? Uh, not yet, not yet. Uh, we are not yet, uh, not yet there. Um, so this one, um, so the first phase, it will also pass all the qualitative uh, mm -hmm. tests that is needed. Uh, will be ready um, during this year. And the, the second phase uh, suit will take one or two more years. Are you looking for test rabbits to test it? Um. Because I've got one here. <laughs> Hi, Esther. This looks amazing, and I know from colleagues who went to Ebola uh, a couple of years ago that it was actually quite terrifying taking on and off the suit, mm -hmm. as well as very frustrating that you could only stay sort of with the patients for half an hour. Aside from Ebola, where else might this be used? 
it can be it can be used for all contagious uh, diseases so it's not only for Ebola so it can be it will be industrialized so it can be widely used also in um, yeah in, in settings in uh, uh, non Ebola settings yeah are you gonna get somebody to dress up in it today we've got some logisticians who can uh... <laughs> We'll come back at lunchtime and film you again yeah. with, with uh, somebody around. inside there walking <laughs> yeah. around. Because we don't really believe you when it's just a mannequin like that. We want to see yeah, somebody, somebody inside, inside there. For, hours, yeah. for many Actually hours. <laughs> but, yes. yeah. And why the choice blue? I'm interested. The colour blue, is that a significance or uh, you're not sure? Um, well, it, it's, it, well the, the most important thing is that uh, if, there, if the suit will be... Um, contaminated with, for example, blood, that it's visible. Ah, yes. So it needs to be visible. That's why yep. this, this color was chosen. OK, yes. fantastic. Yeah. Well, there's an Ebola emergency going on at the moment in Congo, and so it's not ready yet. But let's hope that, uh, what's your time span next year? Are you going to be up and running, you think? Yes, yes, we hope so, that by the end of this year, this, year, uh, this uh, first phase uh, suit will be ready, will be uh, tested and qualified and, um, and working. Rock and roll. Can I just ask, when you say it's reusable, how does that work? Does it sort of have to be sort of dumped in chlorine? What do you need to do? Yes, you need to disinfect it, like in the, the current uh, PPE. So sprayed the or? Yeah, yeah so uh, the current PPE, um, uh, many parts you have to throw away, which are not reusable, and parts are reusable. And you can disinfect it with chlor. So this one you can just put in a chlorine uh, solution and then it will be disinfected. And when it's dry, it can be reused. Great. Yeah. Thanks very much. Good luck finishing Thanks. it off. There's a lot of medics that are very, very happy.